Hi there! Today we will show you how to replace the LCD panel on the Sonic Mega 8K V2. The LCD panel is a consumable component of your 3D printer. Over time, it can wear out or become damaged, which can affect your print quality. Let's dive into the replacement process. Before we begin, you'll need the following items to replace the Sonic Mega 8 KV2 LCD, a new Sonic Mega 8 KV2 LCD, some black electrical tape, a pair of UV safety goggles, a Tuimi hex key. With these tools ready, we can move on to the replacement process. First, remove the building plate and the resin vat from the printer. Go to Z-axis control in the tools menu and raise the T-plate halfway above the Z-axis. Make sure to turn off the printer and unplug the power cord. Grab your two minor hex key and loosen the four flathead screws at the front of the cover. Next, loosen the four screws on the sides of the front cover. Then, gently pull out the front cover about 10 cm, taking care not to damage the cables inside. Locate the latch for the touch panel on the mainboard. Peel off the tape from the latch and set it aside for later use. Lift the latch and carefully disconnect the LCD cable from the mainboard. Also disconnect the USB extension cord. Now you can set the front cover aside. Next, remove the tape on the LCD cable latch and set it aside. Flip the latch downward to undo it, then remove the LCD cable from the mainboard. Hold the LCD in place with one hand and carefully remove the tape around it with the other. Carefully remove the old LCD from the printer, keeping the cable attached. Remove the black tape from the attached end of the LCD cable and set it aside for later use. Now you're ready to install the new panel. Before installing the new LCD, ensure that the optical glass is clean. Take the new LCD out of the box and place the protective material underneath it. Next, take the LCD cable out of the box. Insert the cable into the latch on the LCD with the golden pins facing upward. Secure the latch and reattach the black tape. Flip the panel over and remove the temporary protective film. LCD panels are very fragile, so handle them with care. Next, flip the LCD back to the top, insert the cable into the slot near the front of the printer, and gently place the LCD onto the optical glass. Now connect the cable to the mainboard, slide it into the slot, ensuring there is no gap between the connection. Once secure, press the latch down against the mainboard and reattach the black tape. Place the front cover near the printer, Connect the touch panel cable to the latch on the mainboard, ensuring the pins are facing the mainboard. Once secure, press the latch down and reattach the black tape. Connect the USB extension cord to the mainboard, making sure it passes to the left of the circular column to prevent the front cover from clamping it. Route the LCD cable behind the USB port on the mainboard. Now carefully restore the front cover to the printer. Make sure all cables and wires have enough clearance. Start by tightening two screws at the front. Remove the temporary protective film from the top of the LCD. Plug in the power cord and turn on the printer. After putting on your UV safety goggles, perform the LCD test in the tools menu to check if it's working. If you notice any issues with the display during testing, the problem is likely with the cable connection. In that case, remove the front cover and reconnect the LCD cable to resolve the issue. After confirming the LCD's functionality, use the two Mendler hex key to tighten the remaining six screws on the front cover. Finally, use the black electrical tape to cover all the gaps around the LCD, and you're all set. Remember to perform the Z-axis calibration after replacing the LCD to ensure optimal print quality. That's it for the Sonic Mega 8KV2 LCD replacement. For more information on Z-axis calibration and the LCD test, click the links in the description box below. Hope you find this video helpful, and be sure to let us know if you have any questions in the comment section. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and turn on notification for more exciting news from Frozen. I'll see you next time. Bye.